Well, what's your vantage point on that, Raphael? You know, I just think that everybody should get along, and this is probably a great place if you want to learn how to grow your business. Click this button for my free video. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? You take that traffic and leverage the traffic out. But you've got to look for on your Instagram maybe three posts to five posts a week at the most, and then disappear the ones that are no good. That's why you'll see these people, and they follow less, right? You'll see Little Pump follows zero. He follows nobody. 18 million followers. He might follow one person. It was Charlie Sheen for a while, right? I don't know. And then he followed uh, Drake for a while, right? But the thing is, once again, it's, it, there's, there's a combination in there. There's a logarithm that they run, but zero to 10,000 is key over the first six months in Instagram. And, and get them where, once again, they're real followers. I only have like 10,000, 9,000 followers on Instagram because I just started in July of last year, right? But they're real engagements. I get anywhere between 200 to 500 plus anything I post. Almost everything, because I'm almost always posting content, never sales. So Instagram is one funnel, and then you've got to figure out, right, whatever your core offer is, by percentage, right, where does it go to? Now, everything I'll teach you about in this little section today is that, please say this loud, say learn it, learn it. say do it, do it. and say delegate it. Delegate it. This is not and should never be your core of what you spend your time doing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's just a tool. Now, in addition to this, once you have this up, you want to have video channels set up. So you want to be on YouTube. You want to use all the new mediums you can. Because Instagram is just one source. And Instagram is roughly the 18 to 40-year-old is where you're going to market Instagram, right? It used to be lower. It used to be 15 to 30. Now it's moved out a little bit. Because Facebook is dying for anyone that's 18 to 40. My kids hate Facebook. Yep. My youngest son, he's like, I don't need Facebook. It's a waste of my time. You know, we had a big social media panel. You had a million people in your following to get on the panel we had in Vegas, and oh, it was the craziest panel we've ever had in our lives, right? There were, one guy was a real estate guy, one guy was on CNBC, one person was like a recording artist from Albania, and the other guy was like, uh, run some big network in New York City, and they all had different opinions, right? The one guy that does like these big shows, EDM shows, like you can beep, beep, beep Facebook. I'm not selling my friends anything they want, right? He was only Twitter. He's pure Twitter guy, right? And he loves Twitter because it's still the natural way to get your message out there without having to do all the paid posts and without them hijacking all your traffic. And so you have to write this down. Where does your perfect customer live? You should be on all social media channels. You should focus on one. Are we clear on that? Yeah. You can have a presence on all channels, but focus on one channel that becomes your main place. If you're trying to be everything to everybody, you'll be no one to nobody. So Instagram is a major, major tool for this stuff, but you've got to make sure it's being used in the right direction. Yes or no? Yes. Hello, young man. Can you do me a favor? There's green forms back there. We need some more of those. How many of you guys would like to be part of our social club for 10 bucks a month? Hands up high. I mean, it's a call every week for 52 weeks. You can ask any question you want. It's an FAQ and you get some other gifts. Can you, there's a green one back here. There's a green, I need one of those, yeah. I need to make some copies, that's all. If you can just have someone from the team make the copies, because we're not gonna have enough. You can bring in the, the rest of the package up here, and just if you, just, if you can find Cheryl, ask her to make me like maybe 40 copies. Okay. It's a super deal, it's a thousand bucks online, it's 10 bucks a month while you're here. Is that pretty cool? Yeah. Yes? How many of you guys can make it tomorrow? You guys around tomorrow, we're gonna actually expand this whole funnel all the way through the upsells and downsells, right? But today I want to really give you guys some good social media stuff that I don't care what your business is, this will work on your business, right? Um, any questions about Instagram? Go ahead. Hey, should this be your personal or your business page? Well, obviously that's the question, right? So right. where do you want to drive the traffic to? In time to the business page. But Instagram is different because Instagram has as many followers as you want. It's not like Facebook. Right. It's a whole different model here, right? Mm -hmm. So my personal brand, but also yeah. business. So the business page is going to be write this down. If it's a personal page, it's four, four posts, maybe one business. The business page is the opposite. Four business, one content. Does that make sense? You can flip it in there. But it's always free offers. It's always moving to an opt-in page. So build both, though. Build both, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you definitely want to have both. But once you build them, what do you do? Everybody? Learn it, then what? Do it. Do it. Do it. What comes after do it? Get it off your plate. There are too many talented people doing this stuff that you don't want to spend your time doing. And then you got to track, once again, did they opt in? <laughs> did they watch the video? Did they get plugged into the training? Because you, you only have time to spend your money where it generates what? Money. At least three to one. Spend a buck, make three. It's a simple rule in business. Spend a buck, make three. Now, if that works in your online advertising, how many of you guys will spend 100000 a month? <laughs> Wait a second. 
If you spent a dollar and made three, and you knew it was going to work, how many would spend a hundred thousand? Oh, there you go, my spender. <laughs> All right, second one. Let's talk a bit about Facebook, right? So Facebook is is very different animal, right? Facebook, once again, is that everybody I know, for the most part, uses their personal page for all their business. That's got to stop. So today, starting today, go to a website called Killer Covers. Get yourself an author page. There's a picture of your new book that's coming out. You're like, what new book? Don't worry. You come out next year sometime. I don't care. <laughs> coming soon, right? And the minute you do that, go to Facebook, set up what's called a business page as an author. So you get your business page as an author. Now you put the picture of your new book where? Cover. On the cover of that page, your business page as an author. Now, once you've done that, for the first six months, nothing but pure content. And here's the way to create great content for your Facebook or any page you want to do. There's a website called Zoom. Go to zoom.us. Just do 10 minutes of video once a week. You might say, Bill, I'm not a specialist. That's okay. Who's ever heard of a book called Think and Grow Rich? Yeah. Who's the author? Oh, you know. What was he great at before the book? Not much. Write this down. Not much. But today, it's like the number one book for all entrepreneurs, right? And, and, and I tell this to you because when you're starting out and don't have a database, you can go to Zoom, and you can literally interview top experts, and then share them where? On all your social channels. See, anytime you're going to share videos like that, you upload to InShot, you edit the video, Push the button because you can put stingers on the video too. You put a front end, right, with an opt-in, right? Put the opt-in in the middle of the screen, free gifts all the way through the presentation, and then move them into your core offer. But if you're not using the videos the right way, using the wrong way. I know we want to put funny videos, I get that. Good, put that on your personal page. Make your personal page really funny. I'm okay with that. But make your business page where you give away core content that any business can use. If you give away good core content with top leaders, you'll build your Facebook page much faster. Because you have to become a public figure. On Facebook, you need a blue check mark. With a blue check mark, download an app called Creator. It's a killer app for that. I'll cover some of this in my keynote at 4.30 if you're missing it. I know I talk fast, but I've only got about, what time is it? 3.54. 3.54. So i got about 10 minutes left. Is that okay? Is this helpful so far, though? Yes. How many of you guys will stick around for the keynote? So the keynote's at 4.30, we have free beer before, so if you want some free beer, I have free beer right next to the keynote, yes? Something we're trying, right? Who knows, it'll work out. Don't bring three beers in the session, though. <laughs> so bring one, that's enough, right? So on Facebook, you want to become blue check verified, you want to download an app called Creator, and then Creator becomes your main way of sharing videos through that, because Creator's like Facebook Live on steroids. And it's all free, but it's only if you're blue check verified. Does that make sense? You have to be blue check verified for that. It doesn't work. Um, we also do have, if anybody here needs an Instagram coach, we have coaches that do done for you service for around 500 bucks a month. We have high end coaches. So if you, if you have an interest in any of those guys, uh, my coach will give you all free consultations. So it costs you nothing if you want to just talk to them. We have one that will manage your Instagram account for you. We have one that will run high end campaigns for your Instagram. So whichever one you need, you might, if you're an existing business, let's say north of a quarter million, you definitely want the high end person. If you're between zero and a quarter million, you definitely want the management team. Does it make sense? The management team for less than 500 bucks, they grow your thing, they, they're adding, you know, I don't know, but they create all the content, they go out and search all the database, and then they bring back all the stuff, they answer back to the people that post, so it's, it's a good tool. But autoresponders are also a must. If you don't use autoresponders, you're missing a big thing. And that works the same thing with Facebook, right? When you're posting on Facebook, give them content that moves to a free offer. From the free offer, move them to, a, to where they can buy from you. Well, I think it's a pretty exciting story. <laughs> He's one of our speakers too, but he's pretty excited that he came all from San Francisco, so who knows? It's a long flight. I came in from LA last night. We got stuck in LA for three hours and didn't get here until 3.30 in the morning. So we're ready to have some fun tonight. So where do you guys recommend as the most fun place for dinner here in town? What's the best place for dinner? What's it called? Mangoes. Mangoes, okay. I love good steak and good seafood, so that's kind of, I can't cook at all. Steak and seafood is worse. Yeah, so, is it on your Instagram? What's your Instagram? No, <laughs> 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 
Because we're gonna do something at the end of this class you guys never do, but it's a really fun way to grow your Instagram quick. Like right? cigars? Seafood. Seafood and cigars. Cigars are okay, but no, I'm more than seafood and steak. I can't cook. I'm not a relationship coach. I'm not a life coach at all. I'm not a uh, I'm certainly not a health coach. What's that? Seafood. Seafood's good. Hideaway. What's it called? Johnny's Hideaway. I've heard of that before. Yeah, AB's. How far is it from here? AB's. Prime seafood. I've heard of AB's too. That's a good one. Okay, good. So I got a few options. We'll, I'll send it to the team and they'll figure it out. Um, and so understand that on the Facebook side, you got to once again go to that audience. Now, here's the best thing about Facebook. Anyone here that runs Facebook has to learn how to use CPC ads, write this down, use cost per click ads for impressions only. Use CPC ads to get impressions only. And you only do this in new markets. So we teach a trick.